Hey, Glitz Babe, this is me, Nancy. Happy Monday and welcome back to Glitz Assistance as Live Tutorials. Hope you're having a fabulous Monday and productive Monday. I can't wait to show you some more designs using Glitz products and also especially is the sub boxes here. And I am so excited just thrill about the colors that i got a triple palette and today i do have two nails that using this colors which is let me open it for you i swatched them already so then like you can see you can watch the replays that i swatching this color but this is the color that we have and i doing it the this two color but on this nails i did ombre of the dark kind of blues and I have a lighter blues here. And that's how I create that cute, simple ombre. And this is like the solid colors of a lighter blue. It's like a moth colors. So I'm going to show you really quick, simple, easy designs using this gel palette. Also, we're going to do some really quick, simple. This is great for anyone who is getting really busy this week whether you are seeing your clients or you are doing it your nails it's gonna be really busy and also it's like a lot of last minutes for a lot of you to doing um the designs for the clients and uh, booking a lot of clients as well so this is will definitely take your stress away and yours overwhelms away by getting really super quick simple and easy designs so let's get right into that i am already did there's two colors each of the layers i keep for 60 seconds i did two layer of the colors that i'm using from triple palettes and then i did cure them and i did apply the matte top coat because we we're not sure that which one we're going to design for you so that's why you see the matte look so we are going to using premium iho chan for foil because i am going to apply the couple cute foil again. This is from box th number 37. And I uh, promise that I'm going to do some more designs for you using this box. And also, I got the uh, foil box. They have a snowflakes, like a rainbow snowflakes in number 60. And it's really cool. It works great for like a Christmas. And also, it's great for the uh, winter time. So, I'm going to be using this colors. This one. Like have a bluish color. So I'm going to use that one to just like having fun and matching with this. Or you can using this, either one. Works great. So either one. So we are going to apply the chanfer foil on both of them. Premium IHO chanfer foil. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it on both of them. Let's move this palette on the sides. Hope everyone having a fabulous Monday and hello Instagram fam, Facebook fam, YouTube fam, and Twitch fam. Thank you so much and welcome to Glitz Live Tutorials. This is so cool when you're blind saying a shiny on. Look at that, how beautiful it is. So let's clear this one for 30 seconds. If you are loving the Chan for foil image and designs, and you are having a troubleshooting, which is your foil is not going to stay or to transfer for you. The premium IHO Chan for foil would definitely gonna be your bestie. All right, here, make sure that applies it on here for 30 seconds. And I love this look as an ombre. Let me know if you want to see the ombre. Um, like tutorials we can definitely do it in another videos for you okay so this one is here for 30 seconds so i am go ahead and pick the image this is really cool the foil is so cute and sunny you can definitely do it like this angle or you can Turn your foil to the different angle and chamfer pretty much wherever you want it. So I'm going to just add, maybe I should do this one. I'm going to get to the little reindeers right here. Okay. Give it a quick press down. 
I think I got I think I got the right side. Sometime with the transparency, I if you watch me in one of the video where I did it before, I like oh it didn't transfer because I was did it upside down. So hopefully this one is good because like I can I can feel my hands, my fingers is like really slippery because I have cuticle oils on my um fingernails on my cuticles all the time. Cause especially this season is really dry and cold. All right, so I think it's good. Let's take a look. I think I did it right. So when you transfer with the um with the transparent the transfer foil like this, sometimes it's not transfers. It's not probably because we did go in the wrong um like size. It looks cool though. It looks good in person. All right. So we're gonna leave it on the side for one second. Cool, did it transfer everything for you? And then we're going to the next one. Look at that reindeers right there, so cute. And I think I think this this is one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hold on. Now I get my second view. No, this one. Okay, so it's really cool though. When you're doing this transparent, you kind of kind of feel it out because one size is really like a matte finish and the other one is really slippery. So the slippery part and smooth one is on the top. And the uh, matte, like feeling a little bit matte is was on the other side. So should we do it like that? Like angle like this? No, look, at that. So look at that. Look at that. It's at a, it's, look. It has a um, center too. Look, maybe I should do that. Do you think? Like, like that. Like that. Lighting. Like that. Those are straight over the angle, so you right feel hone out like that. Uh huh. Okay. But yep, so like you have oh, a, like that. A light dripping. So you can look at that. How I did an angle, like forty-five angles, forty-five degree angle. You can do straight. You can do however you want. Okay is what it make you feel like um a feeling of what you are going to do so this is will give you really a quick design like literally if your clients just want something as cute simple like this you can definitely do it in literally in five minutes or less so especially for a lot of you are doing for clients and appreciate the clients and giving them some of cute designs to say special thanks for did i go opposite did i go let me see. I think so. <laughs> so when that happens, move it over. You might have to reapply the pressure for. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that it happened here in on the on the live video. Look, it will not chamfer because it doesn't have anything. Yep, that's what happened when you do on the wrong side. So you have to flip it over. Oh my gosh. Reapply your gel, keep for 30 seconds, and do it again. That is so interesting. Okay, so that video needs to be deleted. Because yeah. I be no, I mean the video that uh, you video it again. All right, here 30 seconds. So when it happened like this, do not panic. All right. Okay, here for 30 seconds, we're gonna do it again. Okay, so I need to get my 37 back. Because it's, it's forward, it's forward. Okay, so I go this way. I'm I was like, I'm going opposite. I was going like okay, other wrong side. Let me let me see. I think I'm okay. So which way did I go? <laughs> so so cool. I just saying so you, it. So you did this way. So now you have to. I go. just said it. Talk no, to everyone no, and then. Like that. Which one? You have to do it like that. Now. Okay. Is this on right here? Yep. So yeah. the, the right here needs to be on the. Right. Okay. So. Get back to that. Yep. That's so, the so, yep. So the right side right here. So the reindeer need to be on the right side. And I put the reindeer on the left side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ready? Okay. So reindeer is... That's like, Somehow I feel it's so... It's so weird because you have your hands have so much oil on. Yep. So if you do... Okay, so side, reindeers... You see transfer, just don't flip Reindeers out. right here, right? Mm -hmm. yep, no, so I didn't. It's like... Nope, you did the other way. When ready over here. Ready? Oh, did I? Yeah, you did. Did I do it this way? Yeah, you did. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I said, you ready? You ready? You ready? Nothing chamfer. <laughs> so this ready right here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Try that right there. Yep. Oh. 
So make sure you breathe too, okay? Press it down. And then it's just like, it, you see that how powerful that premium IHO chant for boy, it chant for? So when you are doing your clients, oh, this is so slippery because my hands get the giggle oil. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. When you tell your clients, like when you are going to do your design, say, okay, you ready? You're ready? You're gonna see your design? And, and then you turn around like and nothing chant for her. It's an oop. Now is really chamber. Look at that. Ooh. It doesn't want to come off. Because it's some of them are, if it feels like a bubble, make sure you are going to. I'm going to go this way. Not a chamber, everything. It transfers so well because it had a double of the transfer for. Look at that. That is now a transfer. Is that beautiful? It's funny. The earlier I did, instead of this side, I did opposite. So you get nothing transfer because it was on the transparent. I just talked about that just right when I'm placing it. Okay, good. See yeah. that? So, Jen Digger, just make sure on the right side. You feel like Nancy did just a moment ago? You put it on the wrong side, it will not catch. Oh my gosh, I just talk about that. I say, Oh, make sure you don't put it on the wrong side. And I feel like, and then at first, I feel really good. And then all of a sudden, I think I might, when I'm adjusting it, I flip that little pieces over and didn't realize it. So when you're having like this, do not panic. <laughs> like, I said, Okay, you're ready to see the image in the class. I hopefully, like, Oh my god, it didn't jump for yeah, simply reapply the transfer for gel, cue it. And go for it again. Yeah. Make sure flip it over. Just just flip that image over. Or else you're gonna have that happen to me like the same with me. But do not worry because it's only is only a two thing is going to happen when you're using premium I have channel for when you don't see the chamfer image on the nails. One it probably you going like the wrong side like I just did, or uh, first, it is the wrong side, or second, it is your LED lights didn't cure properly. That's the only two things. Otherwise, when you're using a premium IHO chamfer foil, it cures and it will chamfer everything. So now, if you don't want anything else, the clients are, oh, I just love like that. Especially when you have a client in the medical field, the clients can't have a lot of crystal designs or texture on the nails. That it looks super adorable and it's cute. You can do that for two rings fingers and a special promotion for them or as a gift for them instead of spending $10 on each client or $12 on each client for their gift for holidays. Um, you can definitely do you know, two cute, beautiful nails out for them. And some clients just love it simple like it is, you know. So, so um, that is some of the idea for you. So now if you don't want anything else, the clients decide like, I'm loving it. I just want to leave it alone like this. You can top coat it. Either you can do a matte top coat finish, which is the matte finish, or you can do a shiny finish on the top to make sure it seal your your chance before it. And then here for 60 seconds, you're good to go. But we're going to add some of the super cute crystal on it. I just want to give it some option. If you don't want anything else, just leave it alone. I want to add something on it and see what it's going to turn out, though. This one is really cute, though. It's like a super, super cute, though. I'm going to do this one on that, the little one on this one because it had the lighter colors and then the darker blues on the top of this. All right. So, of course, you know, I always, you know, stick with the crystal trifecta. This is back me up and it's always get my back on every single client on the crystal designs as well as my. But stay on the nails for weeks to come. So I am go ahead and using crystal trifecta so we are going to using it should be good huh? oh i think it should be good though. i just can't there you go sorry guys okay good okay perfect so we're gonna do condensed glue gel first sorry for uh instagram for just a second a technical difficulty so condensed glue gels and no wipe top coat and both of this will apply is one layer a good layer of condensed glue gel first and then we're flowing the no white top coat on and both of them are we're not keying anything yet until we are placing the crystal and then you're happy with your crystal design so i'm gonna go ahead and using a twin tip brush 
and pick up the smaller amount of the condensed glue gel. And also, it just depends on the length of the client's nail. If you have the clients having a shorter nails, you can use a little bit less. But this is we're going to do is some metal frame and also the center pieces and a um, couple of cute fillers. So we'll make sure we apply this good amount. And then we're all going to floating, you know, white top coat on the top. I'm going to keep this. You, If you want this one to be matte, and matte looks good too. You can do matte if you are, the clients want matte finish. But I am going to add the shiny top coat. And floating on the top, I say floating, it means that you can see that I didn't spread my bristles. Just floating on the top, so then it will grab the condensed glue gel and between both condensed glue gels and the wipe top coat, it will grab the base of your crystals and will keep and will suck the crystal in the nail plate and will keep it there for weeks to come. I'm going to add a couple. This is so cute. And on the uh, some cute crystal that I'm using it is from nowhere, but it's from the uh, mix bags uh, on the January sub box. Yeah, so if you've been subscribed to our little sub box monthly, you know that every box comes with an exclusive mix of crystal, charm, and everything else. So this is from the January Supper. You have a blue theme on it. Really, really pretty. It's like have um, like icy, wintry. Mm -hmm. Just in winter time. And it is New Year's as well. Mm -hmm. So we're using some beads. But if you don't want any beads on, you can definitely skip this step. And here for 60 seconds and using your precision glue gel but if your clients love to add some beat to make it looks finish i love to add some beats on it just make it looks really nice and complete and i'm gonna always end with like three little, little beats Look like um triangle on like pyramid. So adjusting it, the best thing about crystal trifecta, you can adjusting your design however you want until you're happy with this. Just a little bling on it. And then we're gonna go ahead and keep it's so beautiful i can keep going on and on and on with the crystal just in case your crystal your client just want just that looks so beautiful though and then now it's not it's not setting yet so you can if, if you need to adjusting it you can do it right now all right so keep for 60 seconds all right so in the meantime waiting for that beauty to be here i am go ahead and apply same condensed blue gel and no wipe top coat on the second nails as i say with the um step that you're doing a design you do not need to go like every single designs or every single step that i share with you i just um did it because then a lot of clients just want one layer the clients a lot of clients want like two layers some clients who want to just like bling out the nails including like encapsulate underneath i have a client just like that she loves everything which is i absolutely obsessed with this so is this is this her nail and she enjoying it every single it doesn't matter as if you feel like oh my god too busy it is that what you think or people think but you know with the clients they don't care they love it they're just doing it and as long as they're happy and they pay for there is no like such a thing that you can't have you know like more layer on it so we are going to apply the you know wipe top coat floating right on the top 
I love it. It looks so like panels underneath of on your end. I mean the um under the camera at your end, but this mine looks really cool, like really festive and like wintry. It's definitely this one that's great transitioning from uh Christmas to the new year, you know, without like weighing of the previous year now. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the center pieces. Oh my god. If I put the center pieces, it's gonna be right here. On that, the um center pieces. I love this mix bag, it's just perfect. It's enough, it's giving me a lot of different ideas for besides the crystal kits. But if without the crystal kits, what else can you do with a lot of crystal designs? It's absolutely the mix bags from the sub box will get me all the time. All right, so I'm gonna add this one on. This is so cute though. So a lot of questions were asking me, how do I come up with some of the designs? And it looks really easy, but actually it is really easy. So only here's some tip, some tip and trick I'm gonna share with you. When you do, when you see this mix bags come in, you pull in there, and you're like, oh my gosh, it looks so many of a crystal and charm. I don't know what to do. What you're gonna do is really simple. Every single is shape here is, is can be your centerpieces. So you place your centerpiece. This is I'm using two centerpieces, which is the drop and then the um snowflakes that I got from here. It doesn't matter whatever you have, you can play this shape or any shape on it, and then you can add your fillers and your beats around. You will never go wrong with this. Trust me, you give it a try and you'll we'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That's how I learned from a crystal designs. Just like that, you're placing any of the shape that you are feeling. Like even the one you're doing for your clients, ask them what is centerpieces, what shape they want. And then you can start play that shape first, like exquisite shape first. And then you can feel all the filler around. And trust me, if you're doing it a couple of times, you're going to get hang of it and you're going to come up with some really gorgeous design. You're like, oh my gosh, I never think I could do it. You know, you can do it. And I'm so excited for you to get your box beside the cuties like. Of the uh, colors, this silver, I don't think that glitz have this cute silvers on the gel polish collections as well as the um acrylic so i'm so excited about this it's like it's like a platinum silver and the colors blue is really cool and stunning all right so maybe i should i want this one okay i'm just let you know that i did a background on underneath but this is it's really depend on your preference. I like it, even though I have a background on it. Okay, you can continue to go on and on if you want to. If you want to be like you happy with this, your client's happy with this, you can leave it right there, and then we are going to keep for sixty seconds. I am absolutely love this look. All right, so when we're waiting for the second beauty to be here, I am a go ahead and oh, I just feel it again. This is second time I feel it. It's okay, it's happened. I just scoop it back in on the tray. All right, move on the side. All right. So let's get this beauty a, a double secure. So then normally it's going to be done, but then I can feel the scratchy right here. Your client's probably going to feel it too and catching on their hair, their clothes, their fabric, their sweater, especially is a sweater season. So we're going to need this bestie. This bestie will keep all your crystals, not only uh, from catching on the hair, the clothes, fabric, scarves, sweater, also, is keep all of the metal frame and beads and charms from getting tarnished. So I'm going to go ahead. There's two 
and in two hands. So one is you using your brush just in case you need a lot of more of like access into your precision glue gel more than just a little because for instance this nails had a lot of all metal so you're going to using this the brush and then brush it on to not only that but secures also it's prevent it from getting tarnished when you're using a lot of hand sanitize washing your hand thousand times a day you know so then that way it will keep all of the metal stay really nice and fresh for weeks to come um if you need a lot of more access into precision glue jobs but in this one an intricate design i am going to use this needle part right here so this is wool not only a double secure for me but also it's helped me go into every single little edges right here i feel scratchy here so before you squeeze anything out yet yeah, we're gonna do a quick exam little quicks right here i feel it right here and then your clients will feel it with using like, oh i feel that nancy so then you're gonna do when you feel that just need a little bit squeeze you see that how much i need just tiny loader you go a long way you don't need a whole lot unless you need to seal more than it just one time it's a little go a long way so we're gonna seal the on completely on the metal and then seal this metal frame and I'm gonna go in around with this centerpiece, which is the snowflakes, and seals around, but without coating on the top. You do not want to coating your top. If you want to, absolutely, yes, you can. But we we'll suggest not because then you can see the still see the cut of the um, and the fastest of the crystal. So you want to keep it there to make it really nice and sparkle. Because when you put it on the top of the crystal, it doesn't help it stay longer. It's only help it to make it whole and tie the crystal cut it to be globes like more of smooth surface. But the important is the base is already is ankle down with the condensed glue gels and no white top coat. All right. Cure for 60 seconds, just in case you want to do it like you're still feeling it after you cure it. You can definitely reapply it uh, or apply a second time as you prefer to make sure that all of the frame it got sealed completely and all the crystal and the charms got you know like it's fill in with the gap or with the edges all right i'm gonna seal this one seal 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 the important to keep this is to get all of the base nice and secure and then when you have the clients having the a lot of cute crystal like this especially on the nails like ring fingers they want those really nice accent nails make sure you ask them to tilt their finger back and forth so then that way they can cure every single edges of the nails with the led lights like with this so they make sure they cure so then that way we're not gonna have any uncure gels underneath so then this will keep your crystal safe for weeks all right here is the final looks of this two for second and then before we cure this this is really good it's not bad at all okay Oh, but it's good, right? And it's really quick. It doesn't take you like a ton of time. It doesn't stress you out when you are going to using it. And especially the crystal trifecta, back you up every single time in the busy holiday or throughout the year. It doesn't have to be holidays. It can be throughout the years for your techniques when you're doing it. So I'm so excited. It's besides the one I chant for like, oh, you ready? You ready? because i did it upside down so i did it again and it chant versus this one the one i did it wrong and upside down i'm like oh, hey i got the wrong side but i got the right one here it looks really similar it doesn't look much different and then my hand is really slippery so i couldn't feel it like properly so i got the second one all right, this is today. It's really, really fun and easy. It's really easy, easy, quick, simple, and easy design. I am going ahead and using alcohol, 99% alcohol, and using with the paper towel. If you have paper towels, work as well. 
and we just wipe up all the residues because I was using the um, crystal picker and have the wax tip on it. So it makes some of the crystal looks dull because of the wax on the top. So now it looks so awesome, Sparkle. This is a great transitioning for you when you are going to do your clients this week, especially this week, because this week is going to get in closer to Christmas. And then they can still wear this week and also next week, um, you know, to celebrate New Year's. And um, also make sure when you are like telling the clients if they are starting doing a lot of cooking, here's a, some tip and trick for the clients so they won't be like frustrated. Your clients, I mean, if for the nail tech or even for any of you are getting the um, press on for clients and then they are going to pick it up this week because I'm not sure they're shipping it right before. Uh, Christmas, but anyway, make sure you tell the clients that if you want any of the special designs like crystal placement, charm placements, anything, make sure you are going to do it in like a day before you start doing cleaning your house or a day before. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna get my nails done and I gotta go home, I have to clean, I have to prep, I have to cook. You do not want them to soak a hand, either just a bare hand. Uh, start cooking and cleaning and cleaning pot, pan, and mop the floor with the, with just bare hand. They make sure they have a gloves on, but they still, you do not want them to start doing a lot of works, like extremely, extremely heavy, a lot of works, like cleaning, cooking, right on the days they're just going to get the nails done. Like, oh, I'm going to have an appointment in the morning and I'm going to clean. So you should take them after they're done with cleaning. So then... Okay, so you're probably going to be finished if you have any spot for them. I mean, if you have any space for them. Make sure that they're getting all the major work done, like cleanings and, you know, like if they're taking a bath and doing sauna. Everything has to be done way before because they won't see you until Chris, after Christmas and after New Year. So you don't want anyone to be really upset. Anyone like, oh my gosh, I just got my nails done. And here my Christmas day, my crystal come up. Or something is peeling off. No, because they have extremely work cleaning and deep clean in their house, ready for the guests and ready for the holiday. So make sure you you was um, consult them really like um, details, and then that way it won't gonna be happen. Even though it's here really well, but if uh, extremely a lot of work right right when it just get it done because your the clients now will continue keying for the next 24 hours because it set it dry in a 60 second so it still is going to continue to really completely really really clear in within 24 hours so make sure that that is some of the um advice and uh, some suggestion for your clients okay so so then that way you won't be frustrated and seeing somebody texting you on the holiday and as my nails has come off i can't have it like this until like new year's i gotta fix it before new year so something that i've been doing it for clients for years over 20 years so in that way it keep all the crystal all the design all the gel polish staying on without peeling up during a holiday time so i hope it's helped um and also a lot of you are might probably know those you know all the suggest for the clients but i just want to share as again so just in case of um some nail techs or some beginners and some diys uh will not aware of it okay so i hope it helps and i will definitely looking forward to see everyone in the next live videos i hope everyone have a fabulous monday it's busy monday it's a productive monday and for anyone working monday making a lot of money and make sure you take good care of yourselves and your family and be safe out there okay and all the product you see i did um the gel base this from the uh, triple palace is at the moment right now as i know it is available on the subscription box this month sept not september uh january is it january sub box which is that is so perfect for the new year's and holiday as well and it, it in the box i'm so thrilled i should open tomorrow probably i'm gonna open my red envelope for you to see what i got in there i still in my box so and then i did using the crystal from my crystal mix and I'm so pleased with this. And then some foil on the background, just in case I did it. So then a lot of you can see that if you want to do just one layer, two layer. So for this nails, when you're doing for clients like this, this nail, if the clients want to design with chunk of foil underneath and then crystal. So this is going to be about $15 for the uh, chunk of foils and then crystal design, which is 
really fair for you and your clients because you have two later on it which is one of chan for will cost you six dollars at least minimums and then also depend on salon location and then yours a crystal with two centerpieces and filler and beads so it is um another ten dollars for the uh, design so it's like uh, between 16 to 15 to 16 is really fair for you and then it's also the same thing with this design so we'll have two center pieces so this is designs of the crystal it's like ten dollars designs and then about five to six dollars of a chance before you need so this each of the nails will be a fifteen dollars of is it was fair for you to with all the designers this will be fair for you and fair for the clients and also it's keep in mind this depend on your salon location your technique your skills and your products as well just as some um reference for you so i'm using this and it's come in the sub box and i'm using of course on with my bestie is crystal trifecta to apply all the crystals so then all the products you are seeing me you can simply find it at glitzaccessorysuch.com and if you have any questions with the tutorials or if you have any other suggestion or you want to see something that i haven't get chance doing it with you feel free to comment or dm us i'll be really happy to fulfill your request and on i'll give it one quick second thank you so much colors if you're still there morgan thank you so much ah thank you so much morgan <laughs> thank you thank you Okay, so Dawn, hello from YouTube. Thanks so much, YouTube fam. And I thank you so much again. And Instagram fam and Facebook fam and Twitch fam and of course TikTok as well. Um, we're definitely looking forward to see you in the next live. And please enjoy this special is gift going on this week with all the order of $99 or more. This is a special Christmas gift from us to you for amazing love and support so i know that you can use so much out of this i hold mega gel and make so much in your impact in your careers not only for you to make really confidence also the clients will be love it when you whether you use it for your gel extension or for your 3d design so have a fun and enjoy the special gift for most of you when you are shopping you will see the huge discounts don't freak out when you see the total like oh my gosh this is the last thing I need to shop for the holiday. You hit the check out button. It will take all of your discount off, which is huge. Great to ask the Santa for the for the uh, special, whatever that is you wanted to get from Glitz and ask Santa for it. And then it will ship it to you. So then, and the Santa won't have to break his bank because then that way you can have everything you want and then uh, without breaking your bank and also a free i have omega gels and it is end on the christmas day so enjoying it why it still lasts and a lot of category is huge on sales right now trying for you huge sales and sticker is like huge huge great to stock up for your inventory without breaking your bank especially in this season but Holiday is still going on, but then it's great to have it stock up for use for, you know, like it's years to come and months to come. So enjoy this. I hope Omega Gel is a special thanks from us to every single one of you. And, you know, happy holidays. And I will looking forward to see you in the next live video. Bye.